settler. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? Great to see you all. I get nostalgic, excited, even watching the first Jurassic Park. I get weepy. The chills, do you get the same thing? I mean, how good does this feel to be reunited? It feels amazing. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really immensely rewarding. That's wonderful. Yeah, we've had a continuum now for a few decades. And I must say, during the shooting of the last movie, it was during COVID and we were all, you know, huddled, huddled up. Hugger uh, mugger. Mm-hmm. Hugger mugger. Hugger mugger. What does that mean? Hugger mugger means means you're cuddled up, you know. We were hugger mugger. Just, just hugger sheltering from the storm. But I felt closer in a way. We got. I felt we all got closer than e ever mm -hmm. we had been. I we got chummier true. and and, and sp spent many hours talking and walking, and music. playing music, playing music. We we sang. You look up we on your music night on oh, your yeah. things. You'll see a couple of snippets of us singing some old tunes. He's a wonderful. He's got a wonderful voice. You do, you do. Please ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the, the day like? The first day the three of you stepped back on set together. What was that moment like for all of you? Well, I'll, I'll break it. Well, I just remember arriving. I've told this before. I remember arriving and they had already gotten there to the hotel and they, yeah, and they did that. They were up on a, like a balcony because it's a grand, we were at the grand <laughs> at the Langley. I With pulled up on. and these two were like yeah. that. Mass and shields, maybe. <laughs> My <laughs> luggage was in the car and they were like that. I was like, hi, hi. <laughs> you know, it was great. And then the first day, was um, the seat, you haven't seen it yet, and I won't give it anything away. We're all in a vehicle, and there's a, it's a, it's a, not very, it's life and death. And, uh, and we have, we acted. Was that first scene? That was our first scene? I think that was the first day, yeah. and the first scene. Was it? Yeah. I think so. In the Jeep, yeah. Yeah, we, we won't the, tell with you. With an effect. Mm. We were and, dealing with, and there was some improvisation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had was fun, yeah, and my know. kids were there wa watching. Yeah. It was the yeah. only scene they they watched, and I said, "Oh, look and watch this." Anyway, so I, and, I have and, a million. And, go and, ahead. And in the Jurassic World, things that ha things happen to vehicles. You know what I mean? Yeah. It usually doesn't end well. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Leave it at that. Mm -hmm. But I remember Colin you know, being in the direction of the scene and then saying it hit him that our characters were there all together again and that he got moved. And we, um, I texted uh, I Stephen a photograph of all of us together. What did he say? He got very emotional, he, he said. He said it made him, uh, yeah. it him up. Yeah. yeah. So it was, yeah, a lovely family mm. story. I know you said back in the day, Sam, that you all became the masters of amazement because you were the first to do a blockbuster CG film and you had to react off of, some, <laughs> off of just whatever it was. Have you perfected it, re-perfected it? Who amongst the three of you is the biggest master of amazement? And coming back this time, how different did it feel? Did it feel sort of like the last time or does it feel completely like something new? Um, there's nothing like the first time, is there? In the, in to, when it comes when it comes to awe and uh, you know mm -hmm. that stuff, mm -hmm. I'd nominate Laura Dern as being the number one, just for, for shock and awe. I, I second that emotion. Yeah. Oh, there's nobody nobody can do that. I, I will say I that <laughs> I will say that being the original cast putting ourselves in circumstances where then friends would ask us, what was that like? You had nothing to look at. And now every actor we know has had to do this in a movie. Yeah. Um, but we felt like we were the first ones, you know, pretending at something that wasn't there. And then walking onto a set with other people have, who've been doing this for three movies. Oh, yeah. And watching Bryce also yeah. scream in her <laughs> shock and awe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She might have taken the cake. Yeah. And how was that, being with the whole cast together? Because I know Bryce really, really couldn't wait to work with you. I know they were all really excited. I don't know if this is true or not, that you maybe asked Chris, you were like, I have to be an action star now. Back then, I didn't have to be an action star. You talked about hitting the gym. Yeah. Like, talk about that sort of interaction with the new cast. And Look, they're just such sweethearts. That's the first thing. And they were so welcoming to us and just generous. And Chris Pratt is a genuine 
action hero. And that's something we've never really done. You know, we're, we're kind of, you know, we're, we're How dare of, you? We're, we're, no, no, I mean, the truth is we're, we're kind of uh, nerds in very uh, unpleasant situations. <laughs> now look here. I don't know what, he, what the heck is going on. <laughs> Pretend he's not here. Pretend he's not here. <laughs> Whereas you Pratt, can cut. Pratt is amazing. He, he just knows what the, the, he knows what's. I, and mm -hmm. I've never really properly considered what do you do to be an action hero, and it's a whole bunch of skills that I was that I'd never really considered. I, I find him completely awesome. Jeff Goldblum is a great action hero. Mm, thank you. Uh, but Pratt is, is another level. Okay. Are you listening? To you are actually, don't hide your light <laughs> under a bushel. You are actually, you may not know it, but let me, so I'll give you a doctor's excuse right now. You are not only heroic because of your genuine integrity and uh, magnificence, but a true man of the earth. You should see him on the farm with oh animals. Oh, uh, incredible. Uh, he's a Dr. Alan Grant's taken he's lessons from you. So. an exemplar of the species. <laughs> yes. And you've named animals after <laughs> your co-stars, is this mm. true? Yes. Uh, um, Great pride. Uh, I haven't told Jeff this yet, but his, his Jeff Goldblum, the ram, has retired. Oh, <gasps> retired, you mean, is that a euphemism? No, he's retired. He's, he went off to another farm, and uh, I'm sure he's doing good work there. Not like my dog. <laughs> my, my dog, your, when my mom said, said to you. yes, yes, it, the dog's going to be okay. We shipped it off to a farm upstate Pennsylvania. He's yeah. going to be fine. Yeah, mine went to a farm, oh, too. Was... So, Laura, how were your scenes with Bryce? Amazing, amazing. I mean, we had so much fun together, and like Chris, you know, they're so generous in the way things have worked for them in these films and working on stunts that Bryce would stand at the monitor when I was doing a stunt and be very protective mm. and like, oh, you know, what if you did this? And like, maybe if you go closer there and yeah. like so excited to support her actors in every way. And I'll never forget, I mean, when we have this end sequence, all of us together, and there's hardcore running. Um, Chris would take us through our uh, stunt prep, our warm-up exercises. Mm, that's right, that's so right. So he was much like our, our trainer, because we were the kind of action heroes in the first movie where, if we were honest, it was gonna feel real and true. And then you do things like pull your quadricep muscle and like tear <laughs> something yeah. in your arm, because we never thought about like, you know, Warming I, up and preparing mm, for the mm. sprint. Yes, yes. I, I had a dark moment, I have to tell you. There is a point in the film where we're all together and we all have to run like crazy <laughs> to avoid being killed. And we're waiting for the cameras to, 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 to get ready. And Pratt is warming up, he's stretching, you know, and Marmaduke is running on the spot, he's sprinting. And Wanda Wise has He's, some rubber bands and she's uh, popping up. And, and, and Wanda, she's muscles muscling are growing. Up. Jeff Goldblum is doing his jazz dance. <laughs> and, and, and she's athletic. I mean, we all yes. know she's athletic. And she's, athletic. she's stretching too. Oh my God. And I'm going, I'm about 20 years older than anyone else in this film. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it across. I think I will. This is the time I get eaten by an animatronic dinosaur because I don't think I can run as fast as anyone and they're so fit and they're so young and I'm going to die. Luckily. What happened? I kept up. You sure did. Oh, you, were, you, you won the race. What's yeah. that lyric in that song? <laughs> ah, yes, I remember it well. And he says, am I getting old, dear? Oh, no, not you. I love and that, that reminds me. What? You were so good off the cuff. Your moments from the original film have become internet memes. Are there callbacks in this film? Just film? you oh, wait. Wait, oh, Henry please, Higgins, please. just you wait. Oh yeah, you're gonna see a couple of uh, hopefully delicious, uh, tasty... Uh, uh, morsels. Morsels. Mm, yes, yes. Well, what was I gonna say? Oh, I know what I was gonna say about the new cast. You know, in my humble opinion, they're not only great actors and masterful action athletes, you know, but they're all given to um, characters filled with a leadership. 
mm -hmm. uh, qualities. I mean, really, Bre Bryce is uh, an amazing an director and producer and was really a group thinker and nurturer and leader, and so is Chris. Such a sweet soul. Uh, and so are you, you guys, obviously, l leaders. It's a, it's a rare group of uh, people who have this fine uh, nobility, you know. Okay, um, now I need you to toot your own horn a little bit. I need to hear about these moments that are gonna happen in this film. So there are, so there's a few callbacks mm. and some new deliciousness. Yeah, yeah, I can't give them away. <laughs> and hopefully, like you were saying the other day, they'll be well received and, and enjoyed oh, yes. uh, for, for what we intended. But yeah, there are, you know, Colin Trevorrow and Emily Carmichael, who co-wrote the script, very powerful and brilliant voice. Um, yes, found things they wanted to, I think, overall satisfy the viewer and fan from the original. And there are a couple of things that happen that we hope will be a little bit delightful um, that remind us of moments and things that happened. That are off the cuff and improvised by you as well and hysterical. Really? Yeah. Like which ones? I can't tell. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you've all seen the film. Oh yeah. yeah, just and a few nights ago. We all saw it for the first time a few nights ago. And what was your reaction? I have never made so much noise in a film. Really? I was going, whoa, no, oh, oh, <laughs> ow, oh, whoa. It's all the way unbelievable. through. Unbelievable, it's unbelievable. I have never seen an action movie that comes anywhere near this. Yeah. I felt as if I had revealed myself to myself and I was drenched and purged. Wow. I think that's the best oh review God. of a film I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> that's very you unnerving. Eyes, and you look at the person, and you open your eyes. Jeff was drenched. Yes, and I'm doing that kind of thing. Going back a bit, like, was it a, was it at all a difficult decision for you all to come back, or was it like, how did it all? Did you call each other? How did it all sort of converge and come together? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. a good question. We did talk. Yeah. Nobody's asked that question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey. I was in Italy. I thought we should make, you know, we thought we should make contact. Let's yeah. not talk. Did we? How do you yes. feel? What do you think? Yes. Talking yes. to Stephen and Frank yeah. Marshall. Yeah. What do and, you think? And then during the during the filming, we would uh, just uh, between us, we would get together uh, from time to time and just huddle up and say, "How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, anything okay. we need to, uh, you know." Do. Why do you think this has endured so long? Why do fans love it so much? Why, is, why are people so excited to see this film, to see the culmination and see the three of you back together? We've always had great women. Here's one right beside us. We've always had uh, terrific villains. Campbell Scott in this film is, is, is a fabulous mm -hmm. villain. Mm -hmm. Wayne Knight, all those guys. We've always had great kids. Isabella Sermon is on yeah. this one, spectacular. And people die spectacularly, uh, R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> they die on towards they get ripped apart in swimming pools, you know. Uh, but there's a sort of um, magic thing that um, dinosaurs bring that, it, that I don't know why children are so fascinated by dinosaurs, but they absolutely are. They just really dig them. They sure are. My two boys, six and four, and there are dinosaurs all over the house. And that's not just because, oh, no, no, dad has been in a movie. No, there's di dinosaurs everywhere. Mm, Kids yeah. do love them. Yeah. But I must say, it occurs to me now that you've brought it up, um, it's just lucky that we, that we play these characters that have created lasting interest. Crichton wrote, uh, Michael Crichton wrote interesting and good characters. but. Steven Spielberg, you know, made a movie that you can't be good unless you, the director is good. And he made a movie that for one reason or another, his brilliance and genius and talent and all the elements came together and made, you know, several things in that movie that a lot of people seem to be enchanted by. And know. the thing that I'm so moved by is when fans have come up to me knowing we've made this film and they say, I will never forget. I was 10, I was 12, my mom brought me, my brother and I saw the stories of the first time they saw this movie and how obsessed they are with the idea of this spectacle, of seeing these dinosaurs and the coexistence of humans and dinosaurs and their whole dream is that now they get to bring their children yes. to the thing that meant so much to mm. them. Mm. And that's, you know, that's, it's hard for a franchise to get to do that in the same way. Um, yeah. And it's, you know, really, really fun and yeah, exciting. Yeah, the technology of that first CGI stuff that was new at the time was something that not only we were you know, amazed by, but, uh, you know, got audiences just at that right time. <gasps> wow. So, yeah, yeah that, that was part of the experience.